In this question, a situation is described with two logical categories. We have people who are enrolled in an accounting course and those enrolled in a finance course. Those categories may overlap. A situation like this, where we have to keep track of multiple statuses or different types of categories would be perfect for a table. However, this is a particular special case on the GMAT where we are dealing with what could be called overlapping sets, or what many people would think of as a Venn diagram question, where you can draw the circles corresponding to these two groups and see the area where they overlap. For the GMAT, a particular equation is extremely useful on these questions. Here, the G1 stands for the number of students enrolled in the accounting course, G2, the number in the finance course, B stands for both, and N stands for neither. We subtract both in order to get the total as we add up, because both is counted twice. It's counted in G1 and in G2. If we subtract it once, then it's counted once overall. This gives us an idea of everything that we need to know to answer the question. If we want to know how much greater the number of students enrolled in neither was than the number enrolled in both, then we're looking for the number n minus b. We're going to need to find t, g1, and g2 in order to get the answer. Let's move on to the data statements. Statement 1 gives us one of the g's, but we're still missing the other g, and we're missing the total number. So we're not going to be able to get n minus b. Statement 1 is insufficient. Statement 2 is insufficient for the same reason. Once again, we have one g, but we're missing the other g and the t, so it's insufficient. Since both statements are insufficient individually, we must combine the statements. When we do so, we have more information, but it's still insufficient. We have g1, we have g2, we're closer to getting n minus b, but we still don't know the total number of students. It could be 280, it could be a thousand. Therefore, we have insufficient information altogether when the statements are combined and the correct answer is E.